Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story story. Hmm? The Silver Cup. Yesterday I read The Ruler of Egypt. Now today I will read The Silver Cup. Joseph was now 30 years old and Pharaoh's right hand man. He had more power in Egypt than anyone except the king himself. Seven years passed, then as predestined the crop oh wait, I'm sorry. Crops failed and not just Egypt but in all the countries nearby for Trinatoli. Joseph had made sure that Egypt that the Egyptian were houses were finally stocked and as news of the stores Breed starving peoples came from far and wide to ask for food. Among them were Joseph's brother of Canaania. Joseph's father, Jacob, only sent ten of Wait. Hmm, of... Wait, sorry, I have oh, sent ten of his sons to Egypt to buy grain. After losing Joseph, he couldn't bear to part. With his and Rachel's only brother, other son, Benjamin, so he had kept him at home. More than 20 years had passed. the brothers had sold Joseph into slaves. Joseph was now married to an Egyptian. He acted like an Egyptian. He looked like an magnified Egyptian prince. He even spoke Egyptian language so of course, when the brother were called into his presence to buy Gran, they didn't recognize him, but Joseph knew who they are. He was wait, disappointed that Benjamin, his favorite brother, wasn't with him then. So Joseph decided to trick them over in them in order to get to see him. I don't believe you have came to ask <clears throat> for Rain. Joseph told his brothers sought an interpreter. I think you're spies. We. Oh wait, sorry. 
We are not spies. We are brothers. They protest. We were 12, but one died long ago. And the youngest of us in that home with our father. <clears throat> then prove it, Joseph uttered. One of you must journal it back and feed your youngest brother. I will give you some time to think about who is going to go. And he had them all through in prison. After three days, Joseph ordered the brothers to brought in front of him again. I have decided to let your return home with the game you need, he announced, but you must still bring me your youngest brother and to make sure you do. I shall keep one of you here as host. Okay. He clapped it, his hands, and at once his servant grabbed Simon, drank him up, <clears throat> and taking to him away. <clears throat> It was heavy heart that the nine brothers set off to Canaan. They were eleven, even more dismayed. When they discovered that the money they had paid for the gain was some who in their stocks. <clears throat> What's happened? They were wondered. This is going to land us in deeper trouble. They had no idea that Joseph had ordered him servant to put the money <clears throat> there is yes, other trick. <clears throat> when they told Joseph, Jacob, that they had to return to Egypt with ben Benjamin, <clears throat> the <clears throat> ungushed old man cried, No, no way. I have lost Joseph and now Cinnamon has gone. I am not letting Benjamin out of my sight. But the weeks went by and the fame grew worse. And even to lead the Egyptian corn was just up. Jacob had no choice but <coughs> to send his son back to my more this time with Benjamin. The grief stricken old man loaded them down with expensive <clears throat> gifts 
for the powerful Egyptian mass minister and the hope that he would be pleased in all, all tens of his sons and returned as soon as Joseph heard that this, his brother had arrived back in Egypt. He ordered them to be, be brought to a palace. The men were terrified. They were going to be arrested for taking the money they had found in their stocks. What was the mistake? mistake? They told Joseph, start giving it back. Look, it's all here. Can't it but Joseph hadn't invited them to his house for that. Instead, he gave them a feast. Joseph had so delicious to uh, delighted to see. Benjamin that he gave him five times as much to eat and drink as the others. Next day, all ten brothers will, were hugly relieved to find that they were alone. to set off back to Canania with all the grains they could carry. However, they hadn't gone far when they heard pounding hoops behind them. And when they looked, it was Joseph's starf chasing after them he instead on opening the brother's stock of eldest to youngest and in the last one benjamin's was joseph's best silver cup The Zev askewed the story. Knowing it was another of Joseph's tricks, in utter despair, the brother went with the straw back to the city. Black Joseph for forgiveness. You punished well be what that been Benjamin just stay here and be my slave. Wait a minute. Joseph announced, the rest of you are free to go. Then Joba sprang up and pleaded, Your Highness, our father has, has already lost his favorite son. If we return without this boy. He will surely die. 
of Gar S. Garif. I beg you, let me stay and be your slave instead. Then Joseph felt that his heart would break. Everybody out, he uttered, and his others left. Oh, left his one. All I left him alone with his brothers. Finally, he told them who he was. Don't blame yourselves for selling me into slaves. Joseph told the um, uh, astonished man, with great grace. It will was all part of God's plan plan for him marry me. Then he threw threw his arms around oh wait. Threw his arms around Benjamin in tears and hugged and kissed them all. Pararo was delighted that he heard that Joseph had a family who were alive and well. He invited them all to live in one of the last part of Egypt where Joseph could look after them. Jacob was returned with his beloved son Joseph and lived out the last few years his life in happiness. Yes, next day is next time I'll read the Baby in the basket, it was fun, then. Bye.